Hi, welcome back to Brentec IT Support. Today we're going to be looking at setting up link aggregation on the Synology 918 Plus using the Asus AX88U. So it's a bit of a combination now of two videos because we're doing one for the router and one for the Synology, but that's how one would be setting it up for pretty much anything. You know, it might be putting it to another machine, but the process will be the same. So first of all, what we want to do is go to our router setting in our website. So just come here, enter our username and password. And we'd want to come to LAN. Switch control. Link aggregation. So normally it will be disabled by default. I've already enabled it and then you click apply. The reason why mine's already enabled is because I used to have my old NAS set up there. So that was already doing that. But we're also going to want to do some static IP addresses. So we're going to come to network map. get the list and come down here until we see desk station 48 I believe that's what the primary number is yep so and we can also see that there's 49 as well so those two we want to aggregate together so now we found what the MAC addresses are. We will come back to here and log in. And last time I went to control panel and looked at the network settings, you could only see one connection was running. So if you come to internet face of connections now, we can see that there's two connected. Bond, I believe is what we'll have to do. That's just showing us what's what. Click bond. Now, depending on what your route can do, will be which one you will choose. I'm going to go for the IEEE 802.3 AD link aggregation, because that does a good combination of fallover and both up or both download to get best speeds as well. But you do need to have the correct router to be able to do that. So just click next to that. It's now going to connect them so it's set for full duplex. Go next. And it can just get the IP address from the server, which is fine. So I'm going to click apply to that, go OK. Now this will reboot the NAS. Okay, it's coming back up and it's maintained its original IP address, which is to be expected. But now when we come to network interface, we can see that there's only one connection, but it's aggregated the two of them together and we can see that it's in the health status well if i minimize that we've got the bonded one there as well and we can see how that's working together there jump back to our router and we will now close out of that and come to the client list Turn MAC address binding on. And I want to make it just as an easy reference because it's the 918 model. I know that address is free. So I'm going to go apply. That's going to restart the router. And you'll probably see that this will kick out as well. And 
that we have desk station there with the manual IP address. Yes, it is just that one instance. So now if we try this, that should not refresh because that's no longer a valid IP address. So we'll change that to advanced proceed. And there we have it. We now have link aggregation with a static IP address. So that's how you set up link aggregation on the Synology 918 Plus, and I'm sure it's gonna be the same for the 920 Plus, and it's probably gonna be the same for pretty much every single Synology one out there. They do seem to be very good and consistent with their software. And again, that's how you do it for your Asus AX88U router as well. Again, that would be across the board with however you want to manage that with whatever devices you're connecting to it. So, nice quick video for today, that's it. Take care. If you like the video, please give it a good thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. As always, take care and see you later. Bye for now.